The story you're about to hear, took place in the beginning of April of this year. The tragic story was only covered by local news outlets, like the Sacramento Bee. My son, was hazed to death. Valentino Rodriguez Sr. was quoted, by a reporter with the Sacramento Bee. The Vatos, son officially on paper, died from fentanyl intoxication. However, the Vatos family, doesn't share the same conclusion. The family feel Valentino Rodriguez Jr. was killed by a toxic environment and long-standing culture of hazing inside California's prison system. Orale Raza, welcome to another one from the outlaw, the Cholo journalist, the voice of the Vado Loco. Today's lecture will be brief, but powerful. A subject only found here on the outlaw's platform. Not because it's exclusive, but the law enforcement social media production team, who run others' channel, do not approve today's topic of suicide, to be talked about on their snitch tuber influencers' channels. Valentino Rodriguez Jr. was in an inmate homies. The Vato, was from West Sacramento, and a correctional officer with the California Department of Corrections, and Rehabilitation. The Vato, was a prison guard at New Folsom State Prison. After joining the ISU at New Folsom, fellow officers who worked with him soon began harassing him, past his breaking point. Correctional officers called Rodriguez Jr. a gay slur frequently, made fun of his weight, began saying that his wife was cheating, sleeping with black men. According to text exchanges on his phone, wrote Wes Van Tyker of the Sacramento Bee. Valentino Rodriguez Jr. claimed he worked harder than his co-workers, and performed his duties well. Yet the childish guards, harassed him over his work ethic anyway. His father Valentino Sr., reportedly showed the Sacramento Bee reporter Wes Van Tyker, text from his dead son's cell phone, revealing a widespread deeply rooted, toxic culture of racist, sexist, and homophobic bullying, taking place behind the walls of California State Prison, Sacramento, aka New Folsom. Racist, sexist, and homophobic. For a second the outlaw thought, the reporter Wes Van Tyker was referring to the YouTube channel LA Times, you know, the alleged Chicano YouTubers, who never talk about their boss, ex-gang intelligence officer Pete Bollinger. The same dude who runs the compulsive liar Mundo Mendoza's YouTube channel. But, let's return back to the tragic suicide of the Vato, Valentino Rodriguez Jr. The Vato, Rodriguez quickly rose at New Folsom Prison, even being promoted to the Elite Investigative Services Unit, or ISU the Elite ISU Unit, who operate clandestinely, with no oversight, and are mostly made up from ex-military, who conducted Phoenix program style operations, or military black site prison interrogators, investigate drug trafficking, gang activity, contraband items, violent crimes, and suicides inside the prison, according to Van Tyker's Sacramento B story, early this month. His fellow officers began harassing him, as soon as he joined the elite, ISU unit. The newcomer, was soon labeled a half-patch, suggesting Valentino wasn't worthy of his position within ISU. They also started mocking the Vato, with several hateful gay slurs. When Valentino shared photos, from his personal life, he would receive hateful replies from fellow correctional officers. Tex, shown to reporter Ventiker. Some time in August, of 2019, show a photo of a large buck, Valentino's friend had harvested from a family member's property. He wrote, a group text that read, who likes venison steaks, and jerky? One correctional officer named Daniel Garland responded with a reply text, you fag, send a picture of your girls, ass. The harassment soon would escalate for Valentino, after he did what correctional officers are not supposed to do, rat. Rodriguez Jr. told New Folsom prison officials, that officers in the ISU unit engaged in open racism, referring to black inmates, as monkeys, and using the N-word. Chicano prisoners, would also be subjected to the racial slurs. He reported fellow officers, play video games, instead of conducting their investigations. Officers allegedly ordered him to complete menial tasks, even making the Vado do their work, while they instead rather play video games, take naps, or would leave early, 
leaving Valentino with their responsibilities. Valentino also spoke with an internal affairs investigator, who he told that his boss, Sergeant David Anderson, warned him not to report the ISU's dysfunction to anyone. A text sent to Internal Affairs Sergeant Brandon Strom I read as followed, I was singled out, and told if you say anything, or open your mouth I'll fucking replace you, like that. Soon, after stress and pressure began taking their toll on Valentino, he fell into deep depression, and developed PTSD. Valentino claimed he suffered a nervous breakdown at work, and had to take a leave sometime in January of 2020 from his job at New Folsom. By October 2020, things on the surface appear to be getting better. Valentino married his longtime girlfriend. Valentino also started working for his father's swimming pool resurfacing company. That was until three weeks after he had gotten married. The newly married man, an ex-correctional officer Valentino was found dead. His funeral was held in the same place, where he had just held his wedding reception. His family's business, the pool resurfacing shop. His tragic suicide came only one week after his meeting with New Folsom's warden, Jeff Lynch. Valentino reportedly told his wife, Tomorrow they want me to write a memo, and I don't know what I'ma do. He also reportedly told his wife that some of his former co workers had been calling his cell phone. Just prior to his suicide, Valentino texted his wife Irma. The text read it's out now, that I told on the team. Later, his wife found him dead on the floor of their home. The Vato, Rodriguez Jr., who was only 30, did not live to write the memo for New Folsom's warden, but the text messages and notes on his phone exposed to the public the hell he endured at New Folsom as a correctional officer. CDCR claimed it conducted a full investigation of Valentino's allegations. The problem is though, Will CDCR really take this investigation serious, and implement new protocol, and procedures to help rid CDCR of these widespread problems? And create a proper channel, where whistleblowers can be protected, and be provided a much needed support system, for when they come forward with staff misconduct, or abuse. Prison staff encourage, and reward prisoner informing on fellow prisoners. But, discourage snitching among staff. They give no rewards, and offer no protection to staff, who report misconduct or illegal activities. The toxic environment, and lack of support is a major problem, resulting in suicide becoming a leading cause of deaths in prisons, for both staff, and prisoners. Between 2000 and 2010 suicides began increasing for both staff, and cons. This is also the period of the SNY explosion, ironically a period in which COs were under extreme pressure by top CDCR brass to fill up SNY yards. Before the foreseen CDCR prison rebellion started, meaning the hunger strikes, an end to hostilities agreement, between racial groups on main lines. Is it possible that the extreme pressure the prison population experienced, driving many to go insane, debrief, or commit suicide, had the same effect on the correctional officers? Just like the Stanford's prison experiment, which explored the psychological effects of prison's environment on prisoners and staff. In that experiment, the staff started applying sadistic behavior practices and quickly started targeting any fellow guard who fails to conform to the staff's torture tactics and abusive behavior. Until the Raza, meaning the people, begin to confront the real issues which plague all side of the fence, like a cancer investing mainlines, SNYs, and both custody and free staff. Their negative cancer cells will continue spreading over the walls of prisons and attaching itself to working class communities, generating the same tragic results. We Raza and minorities often are accused of using the race card as an excuse for our behavior or faults. But, sit back for a moment and look at the tragic death of Valentino Rodriguez Jr who took the right path in life, conformed, and chose a career protecting society. The same people behind Valentino's tragic suicide, are part of the same cabal of characters, those who use the race card, point to as their victimizers. Stay suited and booted, for another banger from the outlaw, social media's cholo journalist, 
who sprays YouTube with Krylon Kletcher, and X's out snitch tubers. Vince Ramos.